today we're going to talk all about our very first Thousand Trails experience. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> now you might be thinking we, we just did a video, but that was that was Thousand Trails Encore, Encore. which is one of the add-ons. Mm -hmm. This is so this is one of this is our first true just Thousand Trails sure. spot. Yes. And I think we may have screwed up. <laughs> what do you mean? Because I think this is probably one of the nicest ones. It, it, well, yeah, it's Orlando. It probably <laughs> so is. So now we're gonna go. The they're all gonna be awesome, <laughs> but they're probably not all gonna be awesome. No. Um, no, I know they're not. So we're at Thousand Trails Orlando, and mm -hmm. it's it's a very nice place. It's open. huge. We have a great spot. We did. We lucked out with a great spot. We backed up to this big open grassy area, and the sandhill cranes come in every day. Yep. They hang out with us. Mm -hmm. Leslie they has come made... right to you. I love it. <laughs> yeah. You've made friends. I've made friends with them. Well, because you have bread. I have bread. I don't know if you're supposed to feed them. Probably not. But Leslie does anyway. The rules don't say you can't. So. Yeah. And actually, Scout has been out a couple mm -hmm. of times. Scout's met him. And he's not a fan. <laughs> not, 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 not like me. <laughs> but at least he was, he was able to come out and hang out. So yeah. we have a great spot. Um, most of the spots are back in. Yeah. We got a back in spot. And this being our first time, it you know, like most thousand trails, when you come in, they're like, pick your spot. Mm -hmm. Find a spot, pick your spot. Let us know what spot you're in once you're in. Yeah. Well, as we're coming in, it's the first time here, so we're driving around, and we had no idea where we're going, other than looking on Google Maps the night before, comparing it to the, the campsite map, yeah. trying to figure out, like, what general areas we thought would look good. Yeah. Uh, and then coming in, we saw spots that we looked like would be a good spot, <laughs> but we don't know how to get to it because everything's one way. It. So you're like, oh, that's a good spot over there. I don't know how to get to it. I didn't know how to get to the road that led to that spot. It was yeah. so annoying. I think next time we'll have a different plan of attack. So I think yeah. the next time we see a good spot, you'll get out. I'm jumping out. I'm bailing. Just go stand in the spot. <laughs> I will eventually get back to you'll wherever. You'll find me somewhere. <laughs> but, um, but. We passed a couple of good spots, and then we came upon this one, yeah. which I'm glad we did because it's a great spot. It is. Um, so Thousand Trails Orlando is, is it's called the Orlando RV Resort, mm -hmm. and it's your, got your typical resorty stuff. Yes. Um, it has your playgrounds, the swimming pool. I didn't film a lot out by the swimming pool. There was kids out there playing, and I didn't want to, you yeah, know. Yeah, frown on that. Get in a fight with yeah. the parents, going, <laughs> why is this creepy dude filming my kids in the pool? It's not a, so I just. I just panned yeah. through, but you'll see. Um, so they got all your your shuffle boards. Tennis. And the, yeah, tennis. The tennis courts yeah. are all tennis really nice. Tennis is nice. Um, they Horseshoes, have little, yeah. shuffle board, I believe was up yeah. there. Yeah, and they have a little mini golf area out there. Yeah. Um, I think right now it's like you got to bring your own golf club, little putter and, and balls. Yeah. But it's all very well maintained. Mm -hmm. Better maintained than the one in Daytona. Than the, yeah. Than uh, it's all very, very clean. Yeah. They do have um, chalets. Yeah. Chalets or chalets? Chalets. Chalets. <laughs> so there's certain chalets. kinds of Thousand Trails memberships where you can have so many days of stay in the cabins. Yeah. And so that's there for that. Mm -hmm. um, they just, was it two days ago or three days ago? They opened the new area. I think it was two. Two days ago, they just opened this new area out here. Over 160 new spots. Um, Fully paved. Yeah, they're Concrete they're pads. paved and they're very uniform in their distancing apart. Mm -hmm. They're all back ends. Beautiful. But several of them back up to the retention pond back there, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. There's lots of uh, open area out there, which I think is going to be really good for like fall and winter time in Orlando. I don't know. I'd want to stay out there in the summertime. Yeah. Because there's no cover. There, there's no shade. There ain't a tree. No. In sight by the RVs. Yeah. Only and, along the the pond yeah where we are there is a little bit of shade mm -hmm. um so maybe summertime i think it's going to be popular during the winter time yeah and we're going to be back in a in a few weeks yep. back here to stay a couple more weeks mm -hmm. and so we'll get at that time we'll kind of get a gauge of how full it's getting because of the snowbirds so, yeah and all that and it, it the cover is not a big huge deal in, in the winter in time because yeah. it's not humid not as hot down here in orlando yeah <laughs> there are a few pull-through sites on the on the very back side yeah. over in the a section yeah. and um but they but they go staggered one way yeah. one this way so you go right up next to another rv like literally next to an rv 
Yeah, so I don't, I, I like pulling through, mm -hmm. but I think that I would prefer to back in and have a space like this as opposed to being pulling through and being yeah. jammed in close to somebody else. Unless yeah. you like know Unless them. You're buddy camping. Yeah, if you're, if you're caravan and you both come in at the same time and there are two beside each other. Then that would be great. That'd you're be great. Right next to each other. But the, you can't swap it around to where the doors open together because yeah, be door both to the door. pedestals are right next to each other. And if you did door to door, your, your door would open right to the hookups and pedestals and it just wouldn't be great. No. Um, they also have, um, they have a little bitty pond over there by the mini golf course, which uh -huh. I don't know if it has fish in it or not, but it has a sign that says, it says you, you can, can fish. fish, but I've yet to see fish. But in the back, they have a huge lake yes. that is owned by Thousand Trails. You don't have to have a license because it's owned by them. It's catch and release, but hey, it's another activity, a good, fun, free so, thing to do while you're hanging out. And they have kayaks and little boats that you can rent from yeah. them, too, to go out there. So. Yeah, I think you just got to get with the office. We, I don't know the policies right now on all the corona yeah, stuff. Yeah, we didn't on check into all that. What they're actually renting out and stuff. But yeah. um, it has all your other typical stuff. Yeah. Your washer, area, washer, dryer area, laundry, yeah, uh, showers, restrooms. bathrooms, all that yeah. stuff. Didn't go inside of any of those. Because we just really don't need to. No. But they have them. They look pretty well maintained and clean I from the outside. I see a lot of people use them, so. Yeah. They can't be terrible. They look pretty clean from the outside. So I'm yeah. assuming they're they're pretty decent on the yeah, inside, too. Imagine. So, all great yeah. so far. Uh, yeah. Orlando Thousand Trails has been awesome, except for one thing. One thing, and it's kind of a major thing for us. It is. It might not be for the one who's escaping it, from their normal life <laughs> yeah but to us it's a big deal it is and that is the internet yeah. is terrible we're on Verizon terrible so we don't being nice really. yeah we, <laughs> we don't know how bad it is on other networks but we have Verizon mm -hmm. on our phones and on our jetpack yeah because we're grandfathered into the truly unlimited no throttling for $65 mm -hmm. a month and by far this yeah. is the worst place that we for have connection. ever been for internet yeah um, during the day, it is not usable. No. I mean, you can get I mean, it, <laughs> a page to load here and there on your phone. Miss, uh, but, but if you are going to be doing any kind of working <laughs> from your camper. You need to do any downloading. Any kind of YouTube uploading. Uh, anything that requires internet. Yeah. And you're on the Verizon network. Cancel it. We actually had to go up to, uh, to the Lowe's. Yeah. and use their internet uh, a couple of times because yeah. it was time for a software update for our editing software and uh, I was like well I don't have internet but I can at least edit <laughs> but I couldn't edit because my editing software required an update and it was during the day I had to drive up to yeah. Lowe's get my software update who has great internet yeah <laughs> and it's right down the road so then we came back here and so now i was able to edit so i've been able to edit a lot of videos haven't been yeah. able to upload, upload any. Yeah. so we have to wait till we get to the next spot to be able to upload yeah but all in all i mean if you know that coming in it's not a big deal because you can already have your stuff ready and ready and scheduled and it's not a, not a big deal mm -hmm. Uh, but if you are one of those procrastinators who film edit and <laughs> upload in the same day cancel it you're gonna yeah. be in the Lowe's parking lot uh, yeah <laughs> you're not doing <laughs> it for a camper that's yeah. for sure <laughs> uh. yeah um so yeah it's and it's very uh conveniently located to all of the the Disney Epcot all MGM Universal stuff. I mean we hear the fireworks every night from Disney it, yeah we I mean do. It's, it's right we down the, boom the road so yeah. very close so if you're coming to see Mickey Mouse this and you is is be a spot. great spot because yeah. it's right down right down the road, mm -hmm. and um, so we've had a great time here in Orlando, and uh, we're looking forward to. We're not going to keep doing these every time we go to Thousand Trails. We wanted to do the first one for Encore, yeah, and then we wanted to do the first one for Regular Thousand Trails. Mm -hmm. So along the way, if we go come across any that are really really great or really really terrible, we'll tell you about we'll those. Touch on them, yeah. uh, we probably won't do a, a whole. Mm -mm. Uh, campground review but we'll tell you what we really really love about them what we really really hate about them and then probably about the six month mark into our membership we will do an update on our thousand trails experience so far yeah so uh, we hope you got something out of this video uh, let us know if you have been to the Orlando thousand trails or if you plan on going, going. Yeah. and um, maybe you'll get to stay out in the new section now yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right we hope you enjoyed this video uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos we're gonna honor a fallen hero we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.